so Alex is really kind of the uh, reviewer guru. <laughs> She helps kind of make sure it was all set up, uh, worked with the vendor to, to put the, you know, to actually create the application in reviewer. So I'm here just kind of as a backup. Um, so Alex, you can either just see if there are any specific questions that either Keisha or Stacy have now, or, and then just take them in whatever order, or you can yeah. take it over from here. I know Stacy shared before you joined us, um, Keisha, that she didn't have any particular questions. So I'll, I'll go to you first if there's anything that is coming to mind or things that you'd want to um, see kind of demonstrated on the screen for you too? Uh, well, one question I do have about the portal is in terms of, of an organization um, submitting an application for their organization and joining a collaborative group. How will that how does that work for an organization? Yeah, so if you're going to be the lead agency for the collaboration, then you would be submitting that second application. Um, if you're going to be just a partnering agency with that collaboration, then the, the lead agency would be the person that would be more responsible for submitting and, and doing all of that. Do you know if you're going to be kind of like the lead fiscal person for that second application or, or more of that partnering agency? Would most likely be the lead. The lead. Yeah, so let me, um, let me go ahead and share my screen and I can show you how to do that. So if you are an agency that's gonna be submitting two applications, um, it can be a little, wonky because when you go and log in and you start that first application, you have to submit it in order to get to another um, kind of like uh, portal or so. So I'm just going to go ahead and log in and I just have a test one. So if you're um, the lead fiscal agent um, for a collaborative proposal, you're going to be filling out all of this information. And then when you get to this question is where you'll select collaborative proposal and enter in any of those partnering agencies that you're working with. Um, I'm just going to select single agency because it, it doesn't really change anything for submitting to applications. Mm -hmm. um, and I just have a bunch of test language in here right now. Um, and that just allows me to kind of go through and see all of the different um, questions and um, pages of the application. And then there's also those optional application worksheets um, that are on the uh, HSD webpage, which I can show you all in a second too. Um, but essentially, once you are done with your first application, um, and when I say done, it doesn't mean that you're done editing it. Like you can still go through up until the March 4th deadline at 5 p.m. Even once you hit the screen little submit button, you can still edit these applications, um, which I think is really nice because I don't know about you all, but I go back and I see all of my typos after I hit a submit button. Um, and so once you submit and they'll ask you, are you, are you really sure you want to submit? Um, you'll be taken to this competitor portal. Um, and from here, you can see your submissions um, or if you have multiple submissions like I do because I've been testing the portal out quite a bit, um, too many submissions probably. <laughs> you can see all of the different submissions um, that you've done. And if you're starting a second application, then you'll go ahead and you'll click this little paper icon with a plus and it will open up another application. And so right now it's showing up in that competitor portal. Um, but once I start my second application and I save and log out, the only way to get back to this competitor portal is if I submit that second application all the way to completion, um, similar to as when you were starting that first application. Um, and so again, you have the ability to just go in and like how I did, I just had, you know, junk words, <laughs> test everywhere and was able to submit it and then go back and edit it. Um, and then the other option um, to access kind of all the questions for that tier is to use those optional application worksheets. So if you go to HSD Santa Cruz um, and you go to our 
core page, um, let me slow down a little bit. So I just Googled it and then selected the human services department for County of Santa Cruz. And then you go, you can either access the webpage by clicking here um, to get to the core investments funding page, or you can go to home, funding opportunities, requests for proposals, core investments. And if you scroll down, there's so much information on here, um, but if you scroll down, you can find those optional application forms. So if you're gonna be submitting one in medium, and one in large, you can open these up and these are just Word documents. Um, and I'm not sure if it's gonna have you all see my screen when you when I open them, depending on how I shared it. Are you all seeing that Word document right now? No, okay. No. Um, but they're, they're there and they essentially just show you exactly what is in Reviewer um, and all of the different questions. So you can, you know, upload that to Google Docs, you can share it on Microsoft Teams or whatever platform your team uses and be able to just kind of work it in that document. Um, they do have the character limits listed on the document, but the actual text boxes won't like say, oh, you've reached your character limit on the um, Word document. So just something to be aware of, of um, you know, nobody wants to get to reviewer and realize they've got too many characters or, um, you know, and then have to go and revise and, and cut um, a lot of language. I know I've been there in the past. <laughs> so, um, but yeah, so that, that's kind of how you would start a second application and a couple of those workarounds for folks who are doing, you know, multiple applications to be able to be working on them simultaneously with those limitations of the, the online application portal. So, okay. um, so that was going to be my next question. Is it possible to work on them simultaneously? So we, yeah, and it gets tricky, but we can. <laughs> mm -hmm, mm -hmm. And some other agencies that are on the larger side, they've also kind of made that decision to have two um, login information. And so the benefit of having one login info um, is that some of the information um, like all of the contact information um, will be copied over within applications if you have the same login info. But your agency could also choose to have separate login information um, and be kind of working in your own systems there. And you would be able to then work on two simultaneous um, applications without you know, having to first submit one um, and then start the second one too. So it's a third little workaround. Um, so yeah, so I'll go ahead and, and stop sharing. Um, did that generate more questions? Was that helpful? No, that was great. I didn't know I needed to ask that question. So thank you. <laughs> <laughs> that's right. Cause you said you, you also were thinking about doing two mm -hmm. applications. So that's perfect. I mean, conceivably you could submit it the first one. Yeah. Without it being done, just putting test language. And then you could go to the second one and you could put test language submitted and go back to the first one. I mean, you could conceivably go back and forth that way, I would imagine, right? Yeah. Yeah, exactly. Just as long as everything is in there how you want it to be before March 4th at 5 p.m. Um, that's, that's the biggest thing is to make sure that you don't have those test words um, or placeholder text in there and accidentally submit. Is your, is your number really 555? Yeah, <laughs> exactly. Oh, wow. That was, for me, that was my main question, but also just seeing you walk us through the portal, like, like Stacy was saying, it's, you know, kudos to whoever chose this uh, portal. It, it truly is user-friendly and very straightforward. Okay. So that, that piece is great. <laughs> Yay. <laughs> Since this is well, being recorded, that person should get a raise. <laughs> <laughs> I had a question on the continuum of evidence, but it wasn't necessarily a technical question. It was more just the language there and I was reading about it, but I don't know if this is the right form in which to ask the question. Yeah, unfortunately, I probably can't say anything about that or wouldn't be the, the right person to respond to it, but you can, and I'll put the email address in the, the chat, but we do have the core funding at Santa Cruz County 
um, email and we are accepting questions um, up until this Monday at 5 p.m. I believe and then we'll be responding to all those questions and I would just say that question and response document that we have um, that's also on the web page it could be very possible that somebody's already asked um, the, the same or similar question that you've got to so definitely recommend reviewing that because um, it's got some good info there so okay. That's something too, Stacy. If you, I don't know if you already signed up for a one-on-one -on -one session, but if you're trying to figure out like how to apply that tool, or like how to apply that concept of the tool to your application, that's something that um, there's a video recording of a training that we did on core tools where we cover that, and then also if you want to um, get some help thinking about that in a one-on-one -on -one session, you could do that. And Nicole, are you saying that these recordings are also on that website? Mm -hmm. there? Okay. Yep. yep. Is there anything else that's coming up for folks that would be helpful to review? And um, I know that the, the office hours were going to, to five today. I'm happy to stay on, on longer, of course. Um, but if you feel like you've gotten everything that you need to, you're, you're more than welcome to, to jump off as well. I won't take any more of your time. Thank you, Lee. Yeah. Have a good afternoon. You answered you the both. questions. Thank you. Awesome. It's good seeing you. See you. Good luck. <laughs> Thank you all. all right. Bye. Bye. Thank Bye. you. Bye.